Hi, I'm Kevin Smith, and I'm a student at Learning Alias. And I want to talk to you today about the theoretical line. So, I have two curves here. I will go into all windows, and you can see that one curve is drawn from the top, and it's a very smooth curve. If I highlight it, you can see the CVs are nicely distributed, and the curvature comb looks very nice and consistent. Then I have a second curve, which I drew on the left view, and you can see essentially the same story. The CVs are nice and distributed, and the curvature comb looks nice. And then you want to get an intersection between those two that becomes an edge on your 3D model. Now if I move around in 3D, you can see the curve isn't really all that good. For example, if I go to this view, you can see it kind of dips down here and then it kind of makes a little loop. Change this. Now, a way that we could have done this, of course, would have been to rebuild it like we did now and then we could just move it. That way we reduce the need to use the stretch tool um, and we get, I think, slightly more even parameterization because we're using span rebuilding instead of stretching it by hand. So that's another valuable technique. And then you would do exactly the same thing that I did before. You just move it around and you look in three dimensions and you try to make it more planar, more logical, and you check the curvature comb that you have a nice distribution on there still. So this is what I wanted to talk about today. This has been an episode for Kevin's Curvature Den. I've been talking about the theoretical line, and I wish you a good day.